So I woke up this morning to everybody's messages and posts on Facebook that uh, the RGV is flooded. We're gonna go take a look. So we're trying to figure out where to go. My driver. Uh, it appears that a lot of people that live in the nearby neighborhoods are the ones that, that are uh, flooded the most. So there's no casualties. Everybody's okay, um, it appears. So we're gonna go check it out. A lot of people were stuck at home and weren't able to go to work. Uh, a lot of places canceled work or their daily operations. Uh, my wife, uh, her school actually uh, canceled class, so that's cool for her, I guess. And on this street where we live, it used to get super flooded back in the day, like really bad. Like, like water never reached inside the house by maybe like an inch at, at the when it was at the worst. But when we were kids, uh, the bus couldn't even go into the neighborhood. So they would just leave us on the side of the road and we'd have to take off our shoes and, and, and kind of put our pants up and roll them up and, and walk through the water. And kids would play in the ditches because at this point they'd be like full of water. And I mean, I guess it was fun, but like totally not hygienic or safe. going up uh, Veterans Road, uh, also known as I Road, and it's closed right before you get to Dicker. It's closed at Las Milpas Road. So we're going to turn back and try to get some drone footage. Now we're headed back to the Las Milpas area, back home, and we're going to go to the fields. Uh, where we live, it's surrounded by a lot of fields, so we're gonna try to get some footage of that because it's pretty bad too. It's pretty flooded. for my drone and 
and it is closed. Damn. Nobody's gonna want to buy this property now. It floods. So we went out again to try to get some more footage of all the areas that are flooded. Um, and uh, we were able to capture some more, more, we were able to get more footage. Um, there's some areas that were way more affected by, by all the rain, but I mean, uh, I wasn't able to access those areas unfortunately because i wanted to show more of what's been going on here um but it's mostly what you guys are seeing is mostly around where i live so i know the west Coast area did pretty they, they they were hit pretty hard uh so there's people in in mission also that that their houses are just like covered in water uh in McAllen also there's there's a uh, a lot of buildings a lot of uh, businesses that were damaged um a lot of cars that are like completely underwater um, just everywhere in the valley man everybody took some pretty serious damage with this water so anyways uh everybody in the valley thanks for watching everybody in the rgv that shares my stuff that comments thank you guys everybody that's gonna watch this that isn't from the rgv again thanks for for watching this is my home this is what's going on where i live so till next time we'll see you on the next one peace